supported. Interesting. Amazing. Spectacular. Outstanding. Thrilling. Exciting. <laughs> I think the main difference between uh, secondary and primary is that you know you have more more responsibilities and you feel more independent. Yeah, you know, definitely. You you have more control over what you do. I think obviously you've got more responsibilities and that sort of like leans in with homework as well because you get more of it so you have the responsibility to do that or you get faced with consequences. Yeah it's definitely more disciplined which I think is a good thing because people don't try to go against the consequences and they um like more in line. <laughs> yeah, like they know where they stand, they know that if they do this then something will happen because of it. And yeah. I think that in primary school you did get consequences but it was more like... You can get away with more. Yeah. But on like my first day, so I was at Anton, so there were only 64 in a year group. And like obviously here, when we joined there was 180, so it was like quite a bit bigger. So I was really scared that I wouldn't make any friends and like I would get lost and stuff but I never really did. I think just breathe and relax because the more you stress about it the more Yeah. It's I mean yeah, I understand that it's a quite big like bit big big, big, <laughs> big school. <laughs> bit, yeah, it's definitely bigger than most primary schools and it is you are going to be nervous. I mean like I was really nervous yeah. when I started but Everyone is so welcoming that you kind of just feel like you fit in and it doesn't really like... You don't stand out with the new people No, as much. definitely not. You get comfortable after a while and it's not... Like, yeah. It's not... Like, yes, it's you not get so nervous, great. but you will eventually settle in. And I think if you're more comfortable at the beginning before you come in, it's way it's easier. Like, yeah. It's way easier because you just feel relaxed and you don't overthink things. Everyone's nervous when they first come up, but I think the best way to look at it would be, instead of being scared and worried about friends and homework and stuff, I think the best way to look at it is like a new challenge, because that's how I took it. I thought, I've got all these new people that I can meet, all these new subjects I'm going to learn about, and I thought the best way is to just take it on head first, yeah. you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think just don't worry, because I worried loads. And then when I got here, I was like, I don't understand why I worried that much, because all the things I was worried about, none of them happened. And like, me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I just, yeah, just don't worry. To be honest with you, Haraway is like, like a great school because of like the teachers. Yeah, and also you always feel like really comfortable and settled in, and you never feel scared or worried. Yeah, and the, and the support and the relationships between students and teachers yeah. are quite effective. Yeah. And like when I first started, I felt like I would get lost, but the prefects help, and yeah. I think it's also they provide a great opportunity for like different clubs, and you can really do like whatever you feel like. So I do netball and dance, that's just the sort of thing I enjoy. and welcome to our virtual open evening. My name's Maddie Cox and I'm head girl of Haraway and I went to Smannell and NM Primary School. I'm Tara Gergen, I'm head boy of Haraway Community School and I went to Endeavour Primary School. Hi, I'm Sophie, your deputy head girl at Haraway and I, I went to Roman Way Primary School. Hello everyone, I'm Darcy and I'm your deputy head girl at Haraway and I went to Roman Way Primary School. We'll now go into our auditorium to see our head teacher. Thank 
you, Maddy and Tarek. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and prospective Haraway students, and a very warm welcome to our school. My name is Michael Serridge, and I'm delighted and proud to be the head teacher of this very special school. I would normally, on our open evening, give three presentations to a packed auditorium, and you would get your opportunity to go on a tour of the school and see Haraway in action. Now, unfortunately, this evening, and looking around, we're going to have to do this quite differently. But I do hope at the end of the evening and our virtual open evening that you've got enough information to make your decision about a school place for next year. So this is my ninth year as head teacher of Haraway, having previously worked in two very successful Hampshire schools, both graded outstanding by Ofsted. Within my career, I've been seconded as an Ofsted inspector, a designated specialist leader of education, and also recently been asked to be a challenge partner for the local authority and a mentor for new head teachers in Hampshire. The underlying belief that guides my work as an educator and head teacher is that receiving an excellent education is important because the power to shape who we are and our future. In short, I believe that education has the power to change lives. So as a parent myself, I know what an important choice you have before coming away and choosing a secondary school for your son or daughter. With this in mind, I want to ensure that you leave our virtual open evening with a thorough understanding of what Haraway Community School has to offer, that you understand my values and principles on which a good education is based, and also you know my vision for the further improvement of our school. Parents who choose Haraway have entrusted us with one of the most important and rewarding jobs in the world, and that is the welfare and the progress of your child. And we take that responsibility very seriously. So we are a school very much on the move, and many of you last year will have seen the headline in the Andover Advertiser, that Haraway Community School has been selected to feature in the Parliamentary Review. It was a great honour to be invited to take part in the Parliamentary Review, which was sent to every school in the country. You can actually download this from the website, so do have a look and, and have a read through that document. We also received a glowing Ofsted report during our last inspection, and we were graded good in all areas under the new, extremely challenging Ofsted framework. We were also named one of the top 50 most improved schools in the country in 2016. This year our geography department was awarded the secondary quality mark and we're now a centre of excellence. Haraway is also the first school in Test Valley to be designated a lead school by CAS, that's computing at school a nationally recognised organisation for the management, delivery and support of computing in the UK. We were also delighted in 2018 to be the only school in Hampshire to be awarded the Big Award. And the Big Award is given for the excellence in our bullying intervention work. We've also, in the last few months, been awarded the Silver Award by the Teacher Development Trust for the commitment to the highest standards of teaching and learning. And these are wonderful accolades and an important step in our exciting journey to become outstanding. We've also recently produced our new three-year plan on what we're going to do to achieve this. And I believe as head teacher that great schools never stand still and they strive at all times for further improvement. So at this school, we have one simple ambition. We want to be the finest school for miles around. And by this, we mean that all our students will receive a better education at Haraway than they would in any other local establishment. 
We also want our students to leave us with better qualifications than they would achieve in any other school, the skills and attributes needed to live and work in tomorrow's global society, and the values and morals to be just good citizens. Now, although this year's GCSE results and exams were cancelled, Haraway students still came in August smiling, and I hope you've seen some of those pictures on those introductory videos um, this evening. But in 2019, our English department achieved an impressive 75% of students achieving a 9 to 4 grade, and 24% achieving a grade 9 to 7. Also maths fared very well with 70% achieving a 9 to 4 and in science 73% also achieved a 9 to 4. All these figures were well above the national averages. In performing and creative arts there was a flawless performance with 100% of students achieving a 9 to 4 pass rate. Dance, drama, art and photography. These subjects also secured incredible, exceptional grades at the 9 to 7 level. Haraway's expertise as a computer lead school was also reflected in 88% of students achieving a 9 to 4 grade. In design technology, our hospitality and catering results were 96%. Also, in a number of other curriculum areas, there were superb performances, including business, media, and also physical education. We believe, however, that there's actually more to school than just helping young people achieve good grades. We want our students to develop the skills and attributes needed to live in today's global society and have the values and morals to just be good citizens. I was delighted that Ofsted recognised this when they last came to visit. So I'd now like to hand over to our head boy and head girl who are going to say a few words about their school. Good evening, I am Maddie Cox, the current head girl of Haraway. I would like to begin by saying a massive welcome to the prospective students who will hopefully be joining us next year. I remember when I first joined from Spano and Enham Primary School, it was a very small school with only about 100 students. So when I stood outside the gates of Haraway on my first day, I was terrified. <laughs> my aspiration has always been to be head girl, but I thought, how will I even be noticed in a school with so many students? However, with the help of the teachers at Haraway, alongside my peers who pushed me to be the best I could be, I am able to stand here and talk to you today. As head girl and boy, we strive to be uh, role models for all the younger students and make a positive difference to the school. As I said earlier, it is nerve-wracking moving to secondary school. There will always be days where you have a little wobble. However, one thing I am proud to say is that we have here at Haraway is a dedicated, amazing team of staff who offer support and care whenever you need it. This ranges from a tutor form who sees you every morning, giving you guidance and advice throughout your Haraway journey. Um, your, school, your subject teachers who are all approachable that if you don't understand a topic and you can ask for help and they will give you time to explain. And a devoted learning guidance and support team who are all, always available for you to drop in for a chat, work through problems you may be experiencing. Finally, I hope that you are inspired today and realise that it's only by being unafraid of starting something new and be prepared to take that you can really achieve. Thank you for listening. Good evening everybody and welcome to the Haraway Virtual School Open Evening. I'm Tara Kurgan and I'm proud to be head boy here. I'm delighted that you've all taken the time to visit our live stream. Going to secondary school is definitely one of the biggest leaps in the educational timeline, but at Haraway this transition is made as smooth as possible, which gave me the confidence to start my learning journey off on the right foot. During my time here, I've been challenged and motivated to achieve at my highest potential, whether it be in academic studies or my own interests, which will serve me well at college and beyond. Despite the fact that I've not yet decided what I want to do in life, Haraway has allowed me to keep my options open and learn a variety of subjects so I can make the best choice for me. 
When I was sat where you are now, in the audience, five years ago, I could have not envisaged achieving the head boy position. I strongly believe that all the opportunities that Highway present allow you to thrive and grow into the best version of you. Thank you for listening. We strive towards excellence in all that we do. And on screen, you'll see the success factors that have made Haraway what it is. And we're going to be building on these over the coming years. We also believe that every student is unique. It's really hard being a teenager these days, and there are many distractions. We work in partnership with parents, so our students feel confident and secure. A high quality curriculum is also vital because it generates student learning. Ofsted described our curriculum as exceptional. In addition to the focus on the core curriculum, we're also aware at Haraway about the importance of the visual and performing arts. Part of a quality education is developing the whole child. And that's why at Haraway we feel it is important also to provide a wide range of extra curricular opportunities. Again, you'll see on screen just some of the activities on offer. As well as an innovative curriculum, we also focus on the delivery of high quality teaching. We were delighted again that Ofsted were very complimentary about the quality of teaching at Haraway. Staff here really enjoy teaching and we invest heavily in their professional development. Unfortunately tonight you'll not have the opportunity to meet and talk with my wonderful teaching staff, but I can say you won't find a more dedicated and committed group of teachers anywhere. Excellent guidance and support are also crucial to our success. We've got the highest expectations of behaviour, of uniform, and also approaches and attitudes to learning. I believe everyone, that's child or adult, thrives best when they're happy, supported and encouraged. New Haraway students are also helped to settle in through a variety of transition events. These include Year 5 Taster Days, teacher visits to primary schools in the summer term, we have two new intake days in September, and also an induction day and evening. And these help students to really settle in. I'd now like you to listen to some of our Year 7 students who were discussing their first few weeks at secondary school. Hello, my name is Alice and I've come from Abbott Sam Primary School. My favourite subject is art and technology and my favourite thing about this school is everything. My name's Tom, I came from Portway um, and my favourite subject's um, probably DT because of all the um, amazing equipment in there and I'm very excited to do it. My name is Edward and I've come from Appleshaw St Peter's Primary School. I like Haraway because it's been easy to make friends and I've enjoyed the lessons. So far my favourite lesson has been science because it's much different how it was at primary school. My name is Lucas Harris, I came from Borksby Primary School and my favourite subject is drama because it is very different from when I was in primary school as well. I chose Haraway because it's a very good performing arts school and it lets you have a very healthy education. My name is Matthew and I came from Kempton Primary and I chose Haraway because you get to do other things that you couldn't do in primary school and my favourite subject is science. My name is Ada and I came from Kempton Primary School. I love Haraway because you get to experience new things. My favourite subject is drama because you get to act more plays. So we chose Haraway for Ed partly because it's the feeder school for Appleshaw, but also we did look around and we wanted to make sure we could get the best for Ed um, that was reasonable and it's got a really good reputation and when we met the staff it, was, it just confirmed that for us. So we found the transition to Haraway really good particularly given the trying times we've got with COVID-19. Um, the outreach during that, you know, using all methods available was fantastic and facilitated by the great relationship the school have with Ed's primary school as one of the feeders with the headmaster, uh, Mr Hickman, and Mrs Devilla as the deputy head as well. Um, 
and the visits, the way things were coordinated and planned, notwithstanding all the challenges we had with COVID-19, were excellent. It really gave us a feel for the school, how things have changed since we were pupils and delayed a lot of our fears. Um, so we were really comfortable, as, as comfortable as we possibly could be with Ed Starton. So what do we think of Haraway now Ed's been here two weeks? Well, we couldn't be happier. Um, the transition was brilliant, helped by the staff, all the staff, particularly Mr. Scrit and Ben Coles, and all the other people who've been there to help Ed and his classmates as they've adjusted to the school. The, I think the answer really is in Ed when he comes home. He says he's really effusive about it. He says he's absolutely enjoyed every day. And considering some of the days are subjects he traditionally doesn't like, that's just been fantastic. So something's got to be right. Um, the reason why we chose Haraway is what, many reasons. Obviously, there's um, we moved to the local catchment area, so before we were out. And uh, even prior to us moving to Andover, we were looking at potential schools. So um, obviously very important. We were looking at all the different offset reports from schools. But I think most importantly, we also spoke to lots of friends and family that live in the local area. And the biggest name that always came up in mid-conversation was Haraway. Um, so after speaking to lots of friends and family, like I said, you know, and also just looking into the culture and the ethos behind Haraway, um, we were immediately drawn to the school, especially my son. Um, especially Haraway's stance with regards to uh, anti-bullying and anti-harassment measures that are in place and uh, the changes that the school have done. Um, yeah, with regards to transition from, uh, well, my son to Haraway, um, extremely easy. All the staff and every single member of staff that we came into contact with were extremely helpful. Um, myself and my son were invited over to Haraway School for a personalized tour of the school. Um, but even before that, uh, Ms. Eskrid, one of the members of staff, were in contact with myself over the phone. Um, everybody from the Hampshire admissions team right to the staff here at Haraway were extremely helpful and uh, the transition was very, very smooth. And uh, yeah, lastly, the, the feedback um, that I've personally received from my son about Haraway or since starting Haraway has been phenomenal, absolutely brilliant. Um, he, every single day so far, he's come home beaming, positive, um, eager to learn. Um, I've also personally had uh, some phone calls from two of the members of staff uh, since my son started school, just giving feedback around his own behavior in class um, and also his willingness to learn and how infectious that is to the other members of, um, well, not the other members of the school, excuse me, but the, uh, the pupils, his peers. Um, so overall, extremely positive. So, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard all about our school. I'm obviously very proud to be the head teacher here and I hope at the end of the virtual open evening you've got a clear understanding of what this school has to offer your child. I hope what you've seen and heard tonight will inspire trust and confidence in me and I'm looking forward to working with you all in the future in what I hope will be a very exciting educational experience. I'd suggest now you stay online and look at the tools and other resources we've got on the website. Also Thursday and Friday you can book an appointment to meet virtually with a member of my senior team or talk to our Senko. And again the form for that is on the website and also now on screen. So thank you very much and hopefully we'll see some of you very soon. I'm Demetrius and I'm Charlie and we are year 10 students who are going to be showing you around the school. We're going to go all in the different classrooms and you're going to find out a little bit more about our school. Um, the school has given us a lot of different opportunities. I am the member of Youth Parliament and Charlie is the support member of Youth Parliament and we have gotten a lot of amazing opportunities from the school so let's have a look. Yes. Student reception.
reception and it's basically where the students come if they want to sign out, if they feel ill, anything like that or just want to you know, talk to someone. <laughs> you can see all of the tutors in the school, then you've got the heads of year, current heads of year, but obviously it actually points to the big uh, button, the big bully button, uh, on the VLE which you'll find out a bit more about. But this is the one of the many ways that we prevent bullying within the school. Bullying is dealt with really efficiently at the school, so if you do feel that you are a victim of bullying or if you need that extra support, there's lots of different people that can help you around the school. And plenty of ways to contact them. Yes, so there's a bit of information on the website. There's obviously the bully button there. Your tutors are the first port of call at any point, so if you need anything or if you need any support, if you need anything at all, uh, your tutors will be the first port of call and then obviously next will be the heads of year and then Mrs Buckley and then Mrs Woods will be floating yeah. around as the designated safeguarding leads um, oh which are just there with the poster right there but um, yeah we're hands off school telling school so we don't tolerate bullying uh, it's not part of us and we hold great ethos yeah. and we care about each other where all the magic happens in geography, you know, so we've got what subjects we do, we do climate change, development in like cities, what else is there? There's quite lots. There's yeah. lots, yeah, there's loads, there's like rainforests, oceans, all of that basically covers the whole area over your time in Haraway. Yes. It's definitely one of my favourite yeah. topics. But yeah, yeah, so obviously you can have a look in these classrooms, but do be aware that uh, some students might be in some PE kits throughout this video. This is uh, if they have a PE or they have dance, they will have their PE kits on just as an extra precaution. So it's not as hassle getting changed in and out. Hi everyone, yes. welcome to Haraway Community yeah. School. My name is Miss Calder, I'm the curriculum leader for Geography, and this year I'm a Year 7 tutor. Uh, in Geography in Year 7 we cover lots of topics, we focus on both human and physical geography and they range from Africa as a continent to uh, a country focus on China, we look at the UK geography, we look at rivers and ecosystems and we start off by looking at our own personal wonderful place. So it's a shame you can't be here in person to see all the fantastic stuff we do but hopefully we'll see you uh, when we can. Take care! In this, it's still the, that floor. Um, this is the head of year's room, which we'll. Um, and then we've got Ari here. Hello, and welcome to Ari and Philosophy. Uh, for this, essentially, what the st uh, students will be looking at first of all is animal rights. And we move on then to Christianity, the origins of it, and the important aspects of it. And then we look at what is sacred. After we've done that, we move on to what is a human being. And this is the philosophy part of the course. So we don't just cover um, religious education, we look at all different aspects of what humans are, what morality is, what it means to lead a good life, and what it means to be a good human being. I'm absolutely convinced, and my year sevens this year have always backed me up, that is a completely different course to what you study in primary school. So when you do come to Haraway, or you choose this as your school, try not to think of it as being an extension of what you did at primary school. It will be something completely different, there'll be lots of discussion, there'll be lots of time for you to talk about what you believe, and also lots of time to absorb other ideas. And these are our two history classes. Um, right here is H4 and this is H5. It's actually a really great subject that focuses on so much of a great piece of history. So World War II, World War One, it covers the whole World Wars, yeah. and then it actually covers lots of different subjects. Hi, um, my name is Mrs Brown, I'm the curriculum lead for history here at Harry Way. So one of the things that we really try and do um, with history is get students excited about it. Um, we try and make history as engaging as we possibly can using inquiry, so we get students to think about big questions, piece together the evidence for themselves and actually come up with their own interpretations, their own overall judgments. So when you arrive in year seven, we start and we go right back to earlier than 1066 even, and we start to look at early history and we actually focus on the Harrow Way. So where we are as a school is really, really important. It was probably um, the country's oldest road and we look at the people moving through the Harrow Way. Once we've completed that, we then start to really build your key knowledge and key skills during year seven and we cover topics like the Tudors, we cover the English Civil War. 
and then year eight, we carry on into um, the industrial period and then through to the 20th century. So by the time you get to year nine, you've got a really good understanding of pretty much a thousand years worth of history. Once we get into year nine, we then focus in on certain units of time. We'll do a focus unit on the Cold War and the Holocaust as well. And we also look at the um, interwar years in this country between the end of the First World War and the beginning of the second. So hopefully by the time you get to the end of year nine, you'll be absolutely loving history as much as we do, and you'll be taking it for GCSE. And at GCSE, we cover um, crime and punishment, which is a bit gruesome and ghastly, and the Cold War, Elizabeth, and also Nazi Germany. So overall, it's really exciting, and we really, really try and work hard to make you love it as much as we do. Hello, and welcome to the MFL department, but there's also a PSHE uh, classroom. So, this is the PSH classroom, and obviously that's mandatory um, on in year seven and then year eight, and then it goes on a carousel yes. basis with IT and it lots of different and, subjects. But you can also choose it if yeah. it's something that you're interested in. So that also covers uh, a lot of different, so PSHE and social care and uh, lots of different, if yeah. you want to take that kind of career path. This is geography, and then these are the modern foreign languages uh, classrooms. And then obviously we have a great, uh, amazing resource for the school, an IT suite that lots of students are able to use during uh, lesson time. Hi, I'm Miss Gritty, and I am a languages teacher at Haraway. Uh, in languages, we like to encourage students to practice all of the four different skills, so listening, reading, writing, and speaking. Um, I like to get students up out of their seats so that it's a bit more of an engaging lesson, but in a more fun and educational and exciting way. Uh, we cover in year seven, both in French and Spanish, the basics, so numbers and being able to describe yourself, eventually going into being able to write in paragraphs. We also talk about uh, what we do in town, what we do in our free time. Uh, we go on to talk about being able to justify our reasons and we also cover a little bit of tenses in year seven as well. And you are on. suite in the school and then if we actually carry on onto here yeah. we've got S2 which is mainly used for a science uh, science subject however can be used for different uh, well different subjects in the school so this is the IER so if you need any time uh, to, um, someone to talk to there is that resource so these are the boys toys of course and then we're heading into DT, DT block yeah. and there is the workshop on the left where basically it's woodwork, all of that, and you know, all of the practical stuff. Obviously, you do graphic design in here, which is equipped with like you know computers, but it's also a place to work, draw prototypes, you know, practically everything else in there. Which is and we have two of these workspaces. You've got DT two, and then you've also got DT. Hello, my name's Miss Sam. Welcome to DT. In year seven, if you join our department, if you come to our school, you'll be doing four different projects. One of them is going to be a catering project. One of them is going to be based in the workshop using woodworking tools and you'll produce a flexible toy, something along the lines of this. Um, you'll be doing a graphic design project using programs like Photoshop. And you'll also be doing a textiles based project where you'll learn some different techniques all to do with textiles um, and constructing either a pillowcase or a face mask. These are the lockers um, which you can actually rent out in the beginning of year seven uh, to use. So if you need your pee kit at the end uh, at the school day, you can just put your pee kit in the locker room. And then that is, this is a yet another uh, science classroom, and another one, and another one, and another one. We've got lots of different science classrooms, of course. Hello, welcome uh, to science. Um, at Key Stage 3, we offer topics across all disciplines, biology, chemistry and physics. We split them into smaller topics that contain both theory and practical work. 
um, and give a good grounding across all three disciplines to help them out in their GCSEs. At Key Stage 4, we offer two exams, um, Combined Science, which is two GCSEs, which is a combination of Chemistry, Physics and Biology, again split into smaller topics, and the separate sciences, Biology, Physics and Chemistry, that will offer three GCSEs. Okay, all of our topics contain um, theory and practical work that will enable our students to become good scientists. Okay, and now we're going to go across to the maths block. Yet another IT suite that could be used, um, and yeah, even more resources. Yeah, definitely. And then two maths classrooms on the side. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got quite a broad curriculum here. In Hello, the maths. I'm Mr. Messiah. I am the maths teacher at Haraway. So when you guys join in year seven, um, obviously we teach uh, a mixture of things that you've done already in uh, primary school, and then we obviously um, incorporate the, some of the more challenging stuff when you get here. Um, so we do a mixture of number topics, algebra, um, shapes and things like that. Uh, also, uh, you will have, we always do assessments at the end of each half term as well um, to test what we've been teaching you. And then basically the similar sort of thing in year eight. And then once after that, it goes towards GCSE maths. <music> Pod is used for eating, uh, so students at break times and lunch times are able to purchase food. Uh, there's a huge variety for different. It caters for so many different, uh, you know, vegetarians, vegans, yeah. uh, pescatarians, lots of different uh, wide range of food. So we're going to head over to some new mass parcel. So this is. Uh, C8 and C9, brand new classrooms that have been built over the summer. And then if you turn around, you can yes. actually see C7, which is part of our flexible learning centre and the link. Yeah. This is the sports hall. And this is mainly where you will have your PE lessons. However, we do have the gym, which we will get on to later. So let's head into the... Hello, welcome to the Haraway PE department. Uh, just going to take you very briefly through what a typical year in Haraway PE would look like. We start off in September with most of the winter sports. So you're looking at football, rugby, netball. As we travel through the year and the weather gets a little bit better, we head into our summer sports, looking at athletics, striking and fielding, so things like cricket and rounders. Of course, it's not the only thing we do. We're very fortunate to have a, a, a great facility to be able to put on a lot of extracurricular opportunities. So we have a climbing club, which runs twice a week. We have netball, we have football, we have rugby, we have rounders in the summer, we have cricket in the summer. So there's plenty of opportunity for you to express yourself beyond the classroom environment. And of course, we take those into competitions against all the other local schools. This is the dance studio. So this is actually also quite fairly new to us. However, not so new, but new. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where your dance lessons will take place. Uh, year seven, you actually do dance. I'm not sure in year eight that you do uh, dance. No, you don't do dance in year eight, but it's taken... you have the option of taking it in year nine again and obviously continuing through the school if it's something you're interested Hi, in. Hi, my name is Miss Walker and I'm curriculum leader for the dance department. Um, when you join Haraway, you will have one lesson of dance a week in year seven and we develop performance skills, choreography skills, rehearsal skills and the ability to evaluate yourself as a performer. Then when you get to year nine, you have the option to take it as one of your GCSE choices. 
um, and then throughout year 9, 10 and 11 we will develop your technique skills in contemporary, in jazz and in street dance. We have lots of performance opportunities and we also go on some pretty cool trips too. Um, this huge, huge area, this is the field, so actually in outdoors in the summer or in the early autumn, your lessons will also be taking place here. However, these are also opened up for breaks and lunch times as well. So we've also got the basketball court here and you might see the different rugby posts and different football posts that are used for lessons during rugby and football. tennis court. Yeah. As you can see, yet another sports facility that Haraway halt and this is used for the different tennis activities and netball activities. Um, okay. Lots of different things. Yeah. Um, yet another credited sports facility at Haraway. <laughs> English, drama, art here, um, and there are lots of different other lessons going on. So this is the entrance to drama. And art. And art. And as you can see, the drama classroom. And you actually, uh, you take this in year seven and year eight, and then you get to choose it as an option if you see that as a career path. Hello, I'm Mr. Manson. I'm head of performing arts here at Haraway. Uh, in years seven and eight, I will see you every week for your drama lesson. And we'll do lots of things from scripted work to devising our own plays based on um, stories and ideas that you've had. We've also got loads of opportunities for you to do things after school. So we've got our drama club that runs every week and we've got the school musical. And it doesn't matter if you're year seven or year 11, if you are good enough and you want to be in it, then you are more than welcome to. So of course, well, as you can see, uh, Haraway is definitely a big performing arts like place. It offers a wide variety. And yeah, so obviously you've got the school musicals. It's definitely something that it's a lot of fun and it just makes, you know, the whole learning experience much more interesting. Yeah. And performing arts is consistent of drama, as you can see here. Music, which we'll get onto quite later. And then you've got dance as well. Um, so if we now shift on to art and photography. Now, art you take in year seven and eight, you can also then choose to drop it or continue to take it on. And then photography is a brand new subject that is introduced in year nine that you can take on as a Hi, I'm Miss Fowler, and I'm one of the art teachers here at Haraway. When you start in year seven and eight, you will learn lots of new media, techniques, and processes with us, and you do a range of things and study a range of cultures such as cubism, surrealism, still life and uh, portraiture. So one of those topics each year will always be drawing and painting. One will be focused on clay and the other will be focused on textiles. When you get to year nine we then become an option block so you can choose to continue to study art or you can choose to study photography. In both, you'll look at more media techniques and processes and you'll develop your, your creative ability with us. Okay, so during like English from year 7 to year 9, you go through this lovely journey of learning new skills and definitely having the opportunity to focus on different texts which is really awesome. And then from year 10, you start to focus more on language and literature and the analytical skills and that side of English. So it's definitely, it's a nice broad yeah. range throughout your time. Hello, time. I'm Miss Smith and I'm an English teacher at Haraway and I'm going to speak to you a little bit about our curriculum and what we offer in English here. So we do portfolios throughout all of their years here at Haraway and students will have a portfolio to show their progression so it's all the kind of big pieces of work that we do and they're really important because it gives students an opportunity to be proud of something they've produced and also show how they've developed throughout the year. Now in year seven and eight the students will have creative portfolios and we begin year seven with Treasure Island and looking at expeditions. Our theme for the year 
um, in year seven is Islands and Adventures and all of the texts and everything we study very much revolves around that and all the creative work that we do in our portfolio also revolves around that. Then we move on to year eight where we will be doing Light in the Darkness and quite similar to year seven, the texts and what we study kind of links with our theme. When we get to year nine, things change up a little bit in prep for GCSEs and we have a theme instead of identities and conflict and the creative portfolios move over to academic portfolios to really focus on the skills that you do need with those kind of harder subjects and the harder texts that we do study at GCSE level. And then we continue the portfolios into the GCSE years as we still feel it's really important for students to track their progress and show how much they developed over the years with us. Lots of different offices dotted around, and then you've got Mr. Sarish's office, and then continuing on, lots of more different offices. Uh, then you've got more toilet facilities in the B block, and then we're coming on to a bit more English classrooms, and then you've got uh, an art classroom right there. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hamilton, and I'm head of Hawk House. There are three heads of houses at Harryway. You've got me as head of Hawk House, Miss Fowler as head of Buzzards, and Mr Manson as head of Kestrels. Here at Harry Way we have a really competitive house system, we all get involved in lots of competitions, and our aim is to get as many points as possible to win the House Cup. We look forward to seeing you in September so that you can join in with the participation and get competitive. Good luck, see you there. opportunities that come with it so obviously trips is the big thing throughout the whole of Haraway but definitely some of the sport trips are some of the best so you've got cow shot you know like netball matches you know it's quite a broad range yeah, yeah. As you can see, all the chairs, the flooding of chairs for assemblies, where uh, every one day a week you'll have an assembly as a whole year group of different, uh, sometimes different uh, people, uh, SLT members, and then also guest speakers sometimes. Uh, then, if you stir over here, you've got the different queues for the main eating area, where lots of different food is served. Again, um, the queues that will line up to here. This music classroom. Um, so yes again, this is an amazing part of the performing arts department within Haraway. Hello, I'm Mrs Messiah, I'm the music teacher at Haraway. Um, when you come to Haraway in year seven, you will learn how to play some keyboard, you'll learn how to play some ukulele, and you might even get to learn how to play some guitar. Um, we also offer extracurricular activities such as choir, and band jam and obviously there's also the school musical that you can take part in. Um, so in year seven you study a mixture of performing topics and a mixture of composition topics. Um, we also offer one-to-one -one music lessons at Haraway um, on lots of instruments, um, mainly piano, guitar, singing. Um, we also do woodwind, brass and strings as well so there's lots of options to choose from um, if you do come to study. Yeah, so obviously this is where we do our cooking and baking and it's year seven and eight mm -hmm. yep. and then obviously it's another option you can choose which is definitely a lot of fun and it so this is the Learning Resource Centre, which is more commonly known as the library. Now, the library is yet another great resource for Haraway Community School. Uh, we've got different uh, computers and iPads and then also laptops, which are stored here for use during lesson time. It's also used for different uh, meetings and lessons within the actual library. We've got a huge variety of stock 
uh, that can be taken out, so in friction books, non-fiction books that your child can actually take out and read. Uh, we've also got a great e-book system which can be, you can actually loan an e-book online with our, some of our service partners and actually have a read. <laughs>